So I decided that I wanted to start some uh, plants uh, a little early this year. So I took a bunch of bed rails that uh, my brother gets gets me, and uh, I got, come across this vinyl material here, and I'm building myself a small greenhouse. I'm just kind of welding it together like a house shape and. And then I'm just going to stretch this material over top. I got it clamped on there. Just kind of see uh, how big a piece I need and cut it so it's to size. And then I'm going to roll it back up again. And, uh, and then I'm going to put some black paint on the frame so it doesn't rust and make stains on the plastic. I got some, some good quality tractor paint here. At the back so you can get a, a view of the whole thing it's uh seven feet high in the middle and it's uh 68 inches on the sides and it's uh 52 inches 52 inches wide or deep or however how uh, if it's the house if it's a house then it's 52 inches long yeah and it's uh it's uh, 73 and a quarter inches wide. Weld some angle iron on the side so I can make like some hook in shelves so that I can, you know, put trays on the, on the shelves. So here we go. We got, uh, got a couple shelves put inside the greenhouse. I made them so that they have some little brackets on there and that they hook into a piece of angle iron that's on the wall. So you, you can just hit them straight up that way and they unhook from the piece of angle iron. I got one piece of angle iron basically hooked over top of another piece of angle iron. Five trays all the way across, all the way down on each shelf. And I'll have five trays. And then in those trays I'll have some flower pots. So once the flower pots are all sprouted up, then I can uh, take them out of the trays and then just turn the pot upside down in my hand and transplant them into the ground. So there we go. We got four shelves in it on both sides. Two shelves on both sides. They'll fit 20 trays. 20 trays that size. And they're 21 by 10 and a half. Okay, so we have the four rocks in both sides. And then what I did is I uh, put some angle iron here and put a piece here. And the reason why I put this little beak on the top of it is because I don't want rain to get in here. This here is actually going to be a, a vent. Years ago I made a couple um, benches out of these shower doors. I got a bunch of shower doors from a friend and I made some uh, some some growing benches with uh, with like kind of on a table like it, it's up high so you don't have to bend over to work on it and it was about f four inches deep and ooh, there's a ghost and you could grow these 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 bins these plastic bins and uh, uh, 
and, and grow sprouts in there. And I was growing some sprouts with them and then I ended up selling it. You know, I mean, I got, I got, I got a good dollar for it. I got, uh, I think I got $1,500 for it and it, and it locked and everything. So I have one left anyways. And, uh, I decided I was going to use this for, for the door on the greenhouse. So here's the glass that I'm putting in. And I'm going to be bonding the glass and cutting it to size, fitting it. And I'm going to be bonding it right on the angle iron frame with windshield urethane, automotive windshield urethane. And if I ever need to uh, replace a pane, all that I need to do is bring out this pneumatic tool that cuts underneath the glass and shears off the old windshield urethane from the from the automotive deal and I cut a new piece of glass run a new bead of urethane around the piece of glass and glue a new one back in again I welded a piece of stainless steel on top here just shot one coat of black on it. I'm gonna put some more paint on this thing that was just my first coat of tractor paint after I sanded it and then I took some stainless steel hinges with a stainless steel hinge pin so that means that you know this can be out in the weather and it won't get rusty because it's stainless and I put one right there and another one at the bottom and then here I welded in a piece of stainless and it's a kind of a grid pattern so if if uh, uh, I need more air, or if there's like a vacuum in the in in the boo in, inside the the, the greenhouse because the fans on, it might make the door, you know, vacuum shut. So this is like a vent to open the door, so you don't have that vacuum problem. But basically, there's the door there. And I'll put some little rubber snubbers in here on the back side between this part and this part so that when it closes it doesn't close bang because you know the, this rub this glass is mounted on like a rubber membrane underneath onto this frame so this frame needs to be sturdy and it's kind of jumpy a bit this way so I'm thinking what I might do is put a small gusset at the top where I can out of our out of the headroom so it'll actually give this integrity because that's actually the jam of the door so when the door slams the wind catches or whatever you don't want it to blast this thing here and maybe shatter the glass beside it so yeah that's one coat of black paint and then I put these aluminum or sorry these galvanized pieces on they're actually uh they're actually a, a six inch steel stud. That's what they are, heavy duty construction steel studs galvanized. So I just welded two sections in there so that, you know, if you are walking here and you do have to kick, you know, you're not gonna kick the glass cause it goes down this far. You're gonna have it so that, you know, it's up higher. So this will be kind of like a, a, a toe kick so you don't break the window. And the bird beak here, it's gonna have some glass bonded onto it too. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to like close in anything and block the sun. I want it all to just come in naturally. So that little bird beak will protect that vent and kind of keep it from rain running in there and when it's raining. I had this uh, <clears throat> quart can of uh, farm implement enamel. That's what I used, gloss black. So I thinned it out a little bit with some acetone. And, now I need to go over it again and put one more good coat on it so it's like got a nice plastic coat on it. And then when I glue the glass on it, it'll have a nice surface to stick to. And, and, it, and if I, you know, put a good coat of paint on it, then it won't have a tendency to, you know, rust. And then rust between where the glass goes against the surface, you know, it's going to have a nice rust-free surface to stick to and stay like that. So I was at a garage sale, I don't know, 15 years ago, and I picked these up. They're like little little metal spikies, little aluminum casted spikies. I'm going to put them on the top of this thing. I'll put it right on the top of the 
we'll put them like like that right there like that and I'll put them on a, a bar of steel and, and and there's a hole in the back here Let's see if we can get the hole I'll show you the hole yeah see there's a hole right there and I'll put a self tapper in it on a piece of flat bar and then I'll just weld the flat bar right on the top and tack it a couple places at both ends and then I'll have some fancy spikies So here we go, we got this fan, I got myself a, uh, a switch that I can use to set the, th the thermostat so that the fan comes on to keep it the right temperature in the uh, greenhouse. And I got all the racks welded in now. And I put my spiky things on a pole. Welded them on. So I'm just going to put some paint on that. I'm going to give this all another coat of black paint. Once I get all the welding done, then I need to weld. If I put glass in the sides, which I acquired some glass now, I need to put some more cross pieces in there to support the seams because it's not one big piece of glass, it's a couple pieces. So I got to make some, some area for the for the glass to actually uh, glue on to like put a put a, a strut either this way or one up and down depending on which way I orientate the glass but uh, yeah it's going to be a glass greenhouse yeah so that's the opening that I'll uh, uh, put the fan in so we'll weld that in and set the fan in place there we go so it fits in and now uh, um, I don't like how the wires are orientated coming out this way so I think I'm going to take those four bolts off right there and spin it around so that it's pointing up and then I can run the wires up and go along this track here and I'm going to put the switch by the door here somewhere so I'm going to make have to make a little make a little piece that comes out so I can mount the switch on it so you can open the door and actually over here you can open the door and uh, change the temperature if you need to so that would be that so there I got a cross piece in there now and, and it's rigid rigid enough once all the uh, the struts that go down to the bottom when I put the uh, glass on the back side of it. If I still do that, I don't know how to see. Like I said, I was going to uh, maybe join this on to two other pieces, but I don't know. Maybe I could make another one for my carport. So another another two or three of them, because I got lots of this bed rail, so I can make uh, two or three and join them and keep this just as the greenhouse. So I brushed another coat of paint on it. So I got a full coat of paint on it, uh, two coats on it now. And I painted all the grills for where the trays sit on. Terrible lighting in here. So now it's uh, got a second coat of paint on it. I'll be able to uh, start urethaning in a bunch of glass. I, I got a bunch of glass from a, a, a window guy and he's got scraps that are leaning up against a bin outside and I just go there and help myself he says take all you like so I got all the glass I need to completely close it in so it'll be nice it'll be all glass with an exhaust fan and an intake and all the right stuff and a cool curved glass door 